Hi everyone, this is Shivangi and welcome back to the Daydream Project Beauty. So guys, I've recently started shaving my face and it's been roughly four times that I have shaved my face. Now, I did not necessarily need to shave my face. I have never really struggled with facial hair. I've never even bleached my face and I was honestly quite scared of face shaving. But since a lot of you were requesting me to make a video on it and at the same time, I saw on YouTube and just everywhere in general that a lot of women are doing it, I thought to myself that it might not be all that bad and I might give it a shot. Also I read in a lot of articles that women who shave their face their makeup looks even more smoother even more flawless. After reading that I was completely sold on the idea and I tried it out. In today's video I'm going to share with you my first experience of shaving my face. It is important to share because things did go wrong. I'll also show you a demo on how I shave my face, how I prefer shaving my face step by step and what has exactly worked for me and I'll tell you about certain do's and don'ts. Now without further ado let's begin. Alright, first and foremost, I use this razor to shave my face. I saw this on Nykaa. This was just for 99 rupees after discount. And I think this is from this company called Feather Peony, if I'm not pronouncing it wrong. Now, I know that Tinkle is a really popular brand for facial razors. A lot of people talk about Tinkle, but honestly, I have no particular reason for why I bought this and not Tinkle. This works really well, guys. I'm actually very happy with it. And once this wears out, I'll probably try out Tinkle as well and see how that works. But for now, this is what I use and I'm super happy with it. I'll leave the link in the description box if at all you want to check it out. How often you should shave your face completely depends from person to person and the kind of facial hair growth that they have. I personally don't do it more than twice a month and I honestly don't even need it more than that. But even if you've got faster growth and more facial hair, I wouldn't recommend that you exceed three times a week. Our skin is different from men dyes and this is again exfoliation which is not recommended every day. I would say three times a week is more than enough. All right, now coming to my first experience. So I did a bit of research, read few articles, saw certain videos to figure out how to shave my face properly for the first time. Now I'm letting you know in advance that my skin is dry and it is far from sensitive. I rarely get acne. One of the biggest mistakes that I did while shaving my face for the first time was shaving it dry. This probably works for other people but for me it absolutely did not. Within half an hour I had so many bumps on just one side of my face. I don't know maybe one side of my face is a bit more sensitive. I got a lot of bumps on one side of my face and two horrible horrible pimples and I really thought to myself that I'm never touching that razor again because this is not how this should work. So now in the next segment of this video I'm going to give you a demo on on how I prefer to shave my face. I don't get any bumps or any pimples with this particular technique guys. There are a few steps that I follow so watch it carefully. Alright guys, so the first and foremost thing that you need to make sure of is that you secure your hair properly. There shouldn't be any flyouts or something because otherwise you will be cutting them off with the razor. So I've secured my hair. Now the things that I've got here is First is a tissue box to keep cleaning the razor and I've got an aloe vera gel. This is the face shop aloe vera gel but you can use any. It really doesn't matter which aloe vera gel you're using. The third thing that I've got is tea tree essential oil. Again, you can use any tea tree essential oil. It doesn't matter. I've got the Aroma Treasures one. It is quite good. I've been using it for some time now. Next, of course, I've got the razor. Lastly, I've got a small bowl and a small spatula. First, I'm going to make the mix which I'm going to apply on my face before using the razor. I'm just going to scoop out a bit of aloe vera gel in that bowl. You don't need too much, just a little bit. This is colorless, so I don't know how much you can see, but just for your face, you really don't need much of aloe vera gel. Now, in this aloe vera gel, I'm going to add one, two, three drops of tea tree essential oil not too much because this is an essential oil and it is pretty strong so three drops is good enough now you just gotta mix it up 
Next, of course, you got to apply this gel all over your face. You will get a cooling sensation on your skin. That is because of the tea tree oil. Just gonna wipe my hands and let's start shaving the face. I'm going to start with the corners of my face. Now you need to make sure that you are not shaving your sideburns because that's just going to look really odd. I'm holding the razor in an angle. You don't have to hold it like this, nor you have to hold it like this. You have to hold it at an angle and then just stretch your face a little bit and start shaving gently. Now this is the area where you need to be extra careful because you don't want to shave off your eyebrows. So just pay a lot of attention to this area and shave around this area very slowly. I'm always quite scared of shaving my eyebrows off. So yeah, just be very careful around this area. Even the middle area guys, just be very careful when you're doing it. Alright, and keep wiping. See, can you see that? The dark things that you see on this tissue is actually my hair. And I'm going to just repeat the same process on the other side as well. Also, the direction in which you're shaving is pretty important. Always shave in downward direction, the direction of your hair growth, not the other way around. I do a little bit of shaving on my nose as well, though I don't have any hair on top of my nose. But because it exfoliates the skin, I just like to do it. At any point of time, if you feel the gel has dried out, just apply a little bit of it again and then do it. Because dry shaving was not a good experience, guys. It was horrible. You have to do this with a very light hand because you don't want to cut yourself. Also, if you've got any active acne, don't use the razor on top of that. That's not going to be good for your skin. It's just going to spread the infection on your skin. I usually get one stray hair on my chin here as well. I'm going to shave this area a little bit. That's it guys, we're completely done. Now comes the next step. Next step is rubbing some ice on our face. I'm holding it with a tissue because it's really cold. Just take one cube of ice and rub it nicely all over your skin. Since shaving is like exfoliating, it's important to calm your skin down. Your skin is pretty raw once you shave. So ice will help in soothing your skin. Plus, it will also close any open pores which are there on your skin at this point of time. Alright, and we are done. Now I'm just going to wipe off my face with a clean tissue. And that's about it guys, this is all that I do to shave my face. Now I usually follow it up with my skincare routine depending on what time of the day I have shaved my face. But no matter what time of the day I've done it, one very important step after you shave your face is using a good toner on your skin. I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. I love this toner. It's not harsh on the skin. In fact, it's a little hydrating and at the same time, it really cleans the skin off well. Toner helps in stopping ingrown hair and it also gets rid of any gunk or any buildup on your skin after shaving. You know how sometimes you get breakouts after shaving your skin? So toner really helps with that and it is definitely one of the most important steps according to me after shaving your face. Alright, now back to the video. So that was the demo guys. I know there are a few steps involved in it but I don't mind taking my time and doing it properly because I would rather be safe than sorry. I know a lot of videos that you'll see out there online won't involve so many steps but it's completely up to you. As I mentioned earlier, different techniques work for different people. This is the technique which I prefer to follow and it works pretty well for me. Now let's get to certain do's and don'ts of face shaving. 
first and foremost don't do it if you don't need it this is not something that you absolutely have to make a part of your life if you don't struggle with too many facial hair and you're fine with threading up your upper lips and your eyebrows then it is not something which is absolutely necessary yes the makeup application is a bit smoother but i would be lying if i say that you know this has completely changed my life i can't live without it and i was unhappy before i'm really happy after i started shaving my face it is not really made such a major difference to be very honest i genuinely feel that people who do struggle with a lot of facial hair for them this is a game changer for them this is amazing personally after i shave my face the only difference that i see is that my skin looks a tad bit cleaner and makeup wise the application of the base will feel a bit more smoother but when i see myself on camera i don't really see much of a difference my makeup used to look like this even before i started shaving my face so yeah my first advice would be don't do it if you don't really need it Secondly without any doubt don't shave your face dry I'm speaking from personal experience you're using a razor on your facial skin your facial skin is different than the skin on your body it is always better to have a little something on your face before you start shaving if you don't want to use aloe vera and tea tree you can use coconut oil or olive oil but make sure that you do apply something on your face before you do it Next, don't use the razor that you use for your body on your face or use your facial razor on any other part of your body. It's just to maintain hygiene, guys. I mentioned that the skin on your face is different than the skin on your body. It is really important to be hygienic about it and not to use it anywhere else but your face. Also, don't use anybody else's razor or give your razor to anybody else because that is just not hygienic in any way. Keep it exclusively for your face. and you should be the only person using it next don't use the same razor more than 10 times it's again a matter of hygiene guys to maintain hygiene and to make sure that no reaction is happening on your skin because the metal is getting rusty or it's become really old just throw it off after 10 times and get a new one Now coming to my next point I would really recommend that you shave your face either in the evening or in the night this again I'm talking from my personal experience after you shave your face your skin is really sensitive and raw it's an extreme form of exfoliation and your skin is photosensitive it is really sensitive to the sun if at all you're doing it in the morning either you make sure that you have at least two layers of a good sunscreen on your skin before you step out or just do it in the evening personally for me that's the best time to do it because after doing it in the evening i follow it up with my nighttime skincare routine and go off to bed in the night the skin repairs and heals itself so yeah if you ask me nighttime is the best time to shave your face and that's about it guys this is how i shave my face and this was my entire experience before i end this video i'll quickly just bust out one more myth for you guys face shaving is not going to cause extra growth or thicker hair on your skin my hair growth and the thickness of my hair is the same i know it's one of the biggest myths about face shaving so that's why i thought i'll just clear it out i've tried to cover as many points as i could guys if at all you still have any questions then let me know in the comment section below i'll try to answer as many questions as i can in my best capacity also i'm reminding you again do facial shaving at your own risk guys it is a blade and it is extremely sharp it can cut you if you're not careful so please be safe and please be careful when you try out facial shaving i'm not trying to scare you or anything but please do it only if you're really confident and sure about it we've come to an end of this video i really hope that you enjoyed watching it if you don't follow me on instagram you can do that too i post a lot of makeup updates and just different different things if at all you like me and if at all you want to then you can go ahead and follow me there as well also guys if you do like this video make sure that you leave it a like and if you have not subscribed already then make sure that you subscribe we have some awesome content coming up which we would love to share with as many people as we can so make sure that you hit that red button and you stay tuned On that note I'm going to sign off for now. I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Mwah.